here it is in all its majesty. We're actually at a campground, so you know it's kind of kind of handy how this works out. And we got like extra ballsy, and we hooked the power up to it. And we slept in it last night, and we aren't burn victims, so I guess it works. The 12 volt power still doesn't work in it, but if you direct hook it up, then everything seems to work. I think we're about to take this in to get breakfast. The hilarious thing is, is that normally people tow cars and leave the RV in the lot. We're actually just going to drive this thing around all day, taking it everywhere we go. Stop at the cat cafe on the way home. We'll pick up a cat for you, Justin. I think that'd be cool. It's in Philly. It's like on our way. You can get a nice cat to keep in the RV. the judge would be like, really? I was in a, I was in a 76 yeah, Winnebago. I was in a 76 Winnebago and I was like fucking four horsepower. I could drink a nice cup of coffee. A four dollar cup from Starbucks would be nice. Yeah, if you like a magna floor or something yeah, on it, probably be okay. One. Nice big round one. It sounds pretty cool though. I mean, it, it might wear off on the, you after a while. Does a 65 diesel sound cool? Oh, always. You heard, you heard that one last <laughs> night. Because that's what this sounds like. No, because it revs over 3,000. It sounds like <laughs> yeah, a 65 diesel. Filter number one lasted 200 something miles. Oop. Oh, that's good. It's a lot worse than we thought. You can see it in the casing here. Yeah, the fuel's mixed up. That's what you're going to look at in there. Yeah, you can see it's all collapsed. Yeah, it's, it's pulled all the fine dust in the. 